Yeah, Dave, the shooting in El Paso is now being investigated as a case of domestic terrorism. Prosecutors plan to charge a Texas gunman with capital murder, which makes him eligible for the death penalty. They're also looking into the incident as being a hate crime. Hundreds of people came together last night to remember the people who died in Saturday's mass shooting. There were several calls for action to stop the violence. At least 20 people were killed, including four children. Presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke, who's from El Paso, immediately flew there after hearing what happened. He's canceled all of his scheduled campaign events, meeting with victims and their loved ones. He's been reacting to both mass shootings and says President Trump is partly to blame for these attacks, calling him a racist. Other 2020 candidates are jumping into the debate as well. Let's not mince words right now. This president is encouraging greater racism and, and not just the racist rhetoric, but, but the violence that so often follows. We, we have a president who is responsible, who is not taking that responsibility and is doing uh, a nothing to address the deepening crisis in our country of this kind of violence. We've got to heal and it's got to start at the top. The president has to take a leadership role in this. Governor Abbott is in El Paso and recently posted this photo on Twitter with the caption, Our hearts will forever be with the people of El Paso. We pray that God will touch all affected with the healing and hope only he can provide. Texas will use every tool and strategy we possess to aid and support the victims and their families. President Trump has ordered all flags to be lowered at half staff at federal government buildings in honor of those victims. He's scheduled to address the nation this morning around 9 o'clock from the White House. We will take it live on Good Day. Back to you.